Hello guys, my name is Modester and you're welcome to Modi Speaks. In today's day and age, the difference between men and women in relationships is a topic that has been discussed for years. There are people, especially men, who believe that women are totally useless in relationships and are nothing but liabilities in a relationship. The famous rhetoric of what do women bring to the table has become so widespread that most red pill YouTubers are using it for clicks and views. So in today's video, we will be looking at one of such videos from a renowned red pill YouTuber whose brand is all about demeaning and shaming women for being unmarried or divorced. The plot twist in this whole issue is that this YouTuber herself is an unmarried single woman. <laughs> Her name is Just Polly Thinks and Modi has to speak about it. What about what about you? What um, what does the average woman bring to the table in 2023? Well, <laughs> um, so I just, can no. I say can I say something exactly? So wait, can wait, I wait, wait, no, no, wait. I want I want to give a, a go, good a go. good a good actual answer. I mean, there are many things. You know, you have to, you have to sort of be mentally aligned because you, you want to have like good communication. You want to be able to talk about stuff, experiences, and you know things. Are you, women good communicators? Some are. Are, some are, are. Is the average woman a good communicator? Um. Some are. No, no. I said, is the average woman? A good I am. Team? Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, do men typically want communication from women? Is that what they seek? They want. They want communication. They want. Um. They want femininity as well. To okay. be honest. Okay. And they. And they want. They do want attractiveness, obviously. Okay. But you. You can't. It's. You can't be that superficial for like for one date. Okay. Yes, maybe two. Okay. But then the third date. So you men. Need men to... do want communication. Yeah. Okay, so the average woman brings communication. What else? Well, I don't know about the average woman, but, you know, good women that, okay. Okay. That, that get good husbands. Okay, okay. But does all good women get good husbands? No, never. I have an auntie who is very responsible, kind-hearted, and a good woman. And she was even married a virgin, but her husband is a beast who maltreats and beats her most of the time. But I digress. Let me allow her to finish her statement. So they bring looks and communication. What yeah. else? Care femininity whatever that the, includes. are women feminine in 2023 not really there's a lot of alphas out there uh, okay. what else do women bring um well they can bring status de depending what they do as well do men care about status i don't know i think some do some do my ex actually did okay does the average man care about status i don't know about average men i've only dated quite you know okay good okay Above i mean average. yeah you and everyone <laughs> does, does the man women typically want care about status no because he'll probably bring her up if you're gonna go average but i do think that if you are a certain level of guy then okay. then you want something more than okay. just a pretty girl on the arm okay okay so I that's so the average theory. woman brings communication. No, no, not the average woman. Okay. The slightly above average okay, woman. Okay, the slightly <laughs> above average woman brings communication, femininity, they should. They should. and looks. They should. I like how you're not answering the question <laughs> I asked. God. It's like women, when we, you don't like the answer that, that we but, would have to give. It's like, let me answer how I want to answer. Okay, so <laughs> ask the question one more time. I'll what, give you the What does answer. the average woman bring to the table in 2023? So the average woman... It depends. Usually, I guess... No, remember, that's a banned word. Yes, it's banned. <laughs> okay, so the average woman, I guess, is everyone that is on social media. So they bring looks. How okay. about that? As okay. simple as that. Anything else? I mean, I'm sure there are. But if you're going on a date and you don't know the person, how do you know? You get to know okay. them. Before going back to that video, I just want to quickly add this. You should please be aware that a man that asks this question... What do you bring to the table? He's not approaching a woman from a kind and open perspective. He's being condescending and implying that women don't have much to offer, which is very far from the truth. The same way that a man can provide financially for his wife and family and be the sole breadwinner of the household is the same way that a woman in today's age and society can do the same thing. If the situation arises, this is, this is not me saying that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Rather, this is me saying that what a man can do, a woman can do too, but maybe not better. And in the same way, things a woman can do, a man can also do, but not better. Those who know me very well know that I am a great supporter of the first and second wave feminism. That is the feminism that gave women the right to be bona fide human beings, the right to vote 
own properties, speak in public, go to school, hold public offices, etc. But I'm in no way a feminist by today's standards because this third wave feminism is entirely a different thing altogether. I am totally against the belief that men are evil and should be wiped off the face of the earth. In the same vein, I find it ridiculous that some people believe that women contribute nothing to a relationship and the fact that this woman who was asked this question on this podcast is speaking gibberish as if she doesn't understand the roles women play in a relationship is baffling to me. Just to ease your curiosity, here are a few things a woman can bring to the table. Emotional support. We know that men are big babies. No matter how tough and big they appear on the outside and in the presence of their fellow men, behind closed doors, that man is a big baby who needs to be petted and hugged. Men are very emotional and seek emotional support from the women they are dating or married to. Aside from emotional support, women also offer other kinds of support to men as relates to the man's goals and ambitions. They often offer advice and guidance to help the man reach his goals. Remember that adage that says, behind a successful man is a woman. Sometimes, women doesn't even need to do much to support their significant order. In this case, I'm referring to a man. So, all a woman needs to do sometimes is to be in a man's life and that man will double his hustle just so that he impresses his girlfriend. And that man is doubling his hustle so that a more ambitious man will not snatch his girlfriend from him. The motivation that gingers him to be more ambitious than he was before meeting the woman is a lot as far as the table is concerned. Women bring status. When I say status, I'm not talking about a woman being rich. I'm talking about the prestige, the respect, and the pride that comes to a man who has a girlfriend or a wife. People see that man differently. A man in a relationship is seen to be responsible and respected. And this is only possible because a woman is in the equation. Women bring stability and focus. Men in relationships tend to have a clearer vision of what they want out of life. There are men who are used to partying hard and living a purposeless and carefree life. But the moment a woman is introduced into their life, they begin to have a sense of clarity and direction. The party monster in them subsides. These effects that women bring to men may not be as tangible as money, but they are nonetheless very important. Women also bring nurturing. Women are natural nurturers and they bring this to a man's life. They bring happiness to a man's life. I know a guy who used to be very bitter, bitter and moody and appeared to be totally sad and unhappy about life. But that situation changed the moment he got a girlfriend. He became so jovial and easygoing. I can go on and on talking about what women bring to the table or I can also make you understand that women are the table itself because if finally a woman gets married to a man, that man is leaving his parents and his siblings to start up his own family. But the woman is leaving her parents, her siblings, and her own life to start up a family for a man. Because the moment she becomes a missus, she loses her own name to bear her husband's name. She creates babies that bears her husband's name. She cooks, she cleans, and makes her home, if not by herself, then by hiring a help and overseeing this task herself. Her achievements and her success and her accomplishments will be attributed to her husband. Her whole existence becomes for her husband. So, when women get married, they are not merely bringing values to the table. They themselves are the table. So what does the average woman bring in 2023? As I said, average means already that it doesn't bring much. Okay. Okay. So she doesn't bring much. I, I, I would argue that the average man brings more than the average woman to a relationship because the average man makes more than the average woman, but the average woman is fatter than the average man. I would also say that in Nigeria... The more average a woman is, the more homely, the more beautiful, and the more natural she will be. The host of this podcast is insinuating that money is the only thing that is worth bringing to the table in a relationship. And that is very absurd and unrealistic. This is the perfect time for the saying, money is not everything. If a financially stable man is dating another financially stable man... He would not have most of the things I mentioned before. That is status and respect that comes with being in a relationship with a woman. The nurturing and the care that only a woman can give. The stability and the clarity of focus and childbearing and the homemaking would not be there. And no matter how woke, no matter how woke you are, that man would be very unfulfilled for the rest of his life. Speaking of money, there are so many women 
Yes, average women that provide the finances in the relationship, they are so invested in the man and so in love with the man that they even go as far as starting up businesses for that man, paying rent, purchasing him gifts, and even practically doing everything to make life easy for him. Most women are the sole breadwinners of their family. They pay bills, they see the children through school, and still do the cooking and cleaning in their homes while the husband becomes the figurehead just there representing while the woman shoulders the main burden of raising a family and the fun part is that these wives do not publicize this so habibi come to nigeria and see for yourselves and i'm also sure that the same happens in other places like america in any case you should be aware that any man who asks you as a woman what you bring to the table is indirectly asking you to prove your worth and value from the start and this should tell you more than enough about how he is failing to see your worth and why he is probably going to be a waste of your time. Either way, when somebody asks women, what do you bring to the table? Please do well to recommend this video to them. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and do well to leave a like. It's totally free and it will encourage me a lot to make more videos. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, I do not know much. I just speak.